guys, it's back to me, Anthony, and today I'll be reading Froggy's Best Babysitter, book number 42. I hope you guys enjoy this book. If you should like and subscribe. Froggy's Best Babysitter by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Rickenwiz. Saturday morning, and Froggy was hungry. He lay in bed and dreamed about French toast, sprinkled with sugar-coated fries. Yum! Froggy! Called his mother. What? It's time to get up, dear. Your babysitter's coming. Froggy hopped out of bed and flopped to the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. But I don't want a babysitter, cried Froggy. I want to come with you. But it's our 10th anniversary, dear. We're spending one night in the city. Your babysitter will take good care of you. But what if she's mean, asked Froggy. Bring, bring, rang the doorbell. Now meet Sandy, your new babysitter. Hi, Froggy. What's up? Come, I can't come with you, Mom. I told you, dear. And she hugged Froggy and Polly Woggy Ina. Goodbye. Wah! cried Polly as soon as they left. Sandy picked her up and sang, Rock a bye, baby. I think she's hungry, said Froggy. And he climbed a stool and splish, splash, sizzle, mash. He made Polly mashed French toast. What a mess! cried Sandy. But Froggy ate two pieces, all sprinkled with sugar-coated flies. Munch, crunch, munch. And, and then flopped to his room to get dressed. Flop, flop, flop. Rats, said Sandy when he came back. My cell phone is dead. Do you have a boyfriend? Asked Froggy. None of your beeswax. Froggy handed her a phone. And snuck into his parents' room and listened on their phone. Hi, Danny, said Sandy. Froggy giggled and sang, Sandy and Danny sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Get off the phone, now, screamed Sandy. Oops, said Froggy, laughing like mad. They leapfrogged all the way to the market. Flop, flop, flop. But when they got home, Froggy dropped the bag of face. Splop. So for dinner, they had frozen pizza with leftover fly sauce. Munch, crunch, munch. Let's so have three desserts, said Froggy. You can have three, said Sandy, but you can have a triple banana split with chocolate fly sauce. Num, num, squealed Polly. Called Sandy after dessert. What? Froggy plopped down in front of the TV and said, Mom always lets us watch lots and lots of TV. You can't watch TV, said Sandy, but you can make something with clay. Yippee! Froggy. And, wow, he made a dinosaur, Polly made blobs. She threw some, she ate some, and then stuffed one down her diaper. 
Froggy rolled over, laughing, and smooshed his dinosaur all across the carpet. Froggy! He yelled Tangy, What? Bath time, but I want to take a bath. Take a bath or clean the carpet, he said. So Froggy took her bath with Polly. Splash, splash, splash. He made a suds wig for Polly and a suds beard for himself. Froggy! Called Tandy. What? Bedtime. But I don't want to go to bed. Mom always lets us stay up till midnight. Go to bed or mop the floor, she said. So Froggy went to bed. But Tandy had to read ten books before he fell asleep. Zzz. Then she stayed past midnight cleaning the house. And in the morning she woke up to Wah! Wah! Hungry, said Froggy. I'll make French toast. Er, uh, thanks Froggy, but, said Sandy, but I'll make it. You go play. It had rained all night, so Froggy went outside and jumped in the mud. Slop, slop, slop. When he saw the taxi, he flopped back inside, flop, 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 and yelled, They're coming! No! howled Sandy. You tracked mud all over the carpet. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. But then, like Super Frog, he swooped up the red carpet, kept for special guests, and flung it out, floop, and covered his muddy footprints. And when Mom and Dad came in, he sang, Happy Anniversary! Wow! said Mom. The house looks great. Yes, said Dad. This is the best anniversary we've ever had. And Sandy is the best babysitter ever, said Froggy. Wonderful, said Mom. I hope you can babysit again real soon. Um, said Sandy, waving goodbye. Thanks, but I think I'm moving to Australia real soon. I hope you guys enjoy this book. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!